What's happening, Instagram? Casual Cutter here with today's carry knife for Friday show and tell. The Giant Mouse Isiona. Checking out the little bit of the New Haven CT skyline. All those Yaleys, I think, are on uh, spring break, the collegiate types. You know, future doctors, lawyers, scientists, weirdo politicians, you name it. But anyway, uh, for Friday show and tell, I got the Giant Mouse Ace Iona here in the pocket. Um, these videos I'm going to try to do every Friday while I'm supposed to be working. Um, just to show you knives that I've been carrying and what I like about them, like dislikes, so on and so forth. But anyway, the Ace Iona, here it is. This knife is on washers. Oh, shit. Good Lord. Yeah, it's got an awesome action, um, which is one of the first things I loved about this knife. Um, it is a relatively budget-friendly uh, EDC option. You got 99 bucks, so under 100 I would say the main competition for this guy is the Benchmade Bugout. Um, this has got FRN handles, which either people either love or hate. I don't know. I'm indifferent. Um, the texture on them, as you can see, is clearly all Jens Anzo right there. I think they look awesome and they feel great too. So the FRN, I think, is a, you know, it's a good thing. They're not slippery. Um, you know, fiberglass reinforced nylon is strong and relatively inexpensive. So to get a knife that has M390 blade steel for under a hundred bucks and isn't like a, uh, you know, cheap Chinese uh, factory derivative, you got to do what you got to do. And FRN is not a bad thing to, uh, to save money on. So, I mean, most, there's a bunch of spider codes that are under like 130 bucks. They all use FRN. You got that new Para 3 lightweight that's going to be using FRN. So, yeah, it's not a bad thing. And this guy's got titanium hardware, removable thumb studs if you're like in Europe and you can't have, um, you know, a locking knife that has uh, one handed deployment. So, there's that. But the Iona is a liner lock, as you can see. And if you follow me on Instagram, you uh, you saw I took this thing apart last week. And uh, that blade has a uh, detent ramp. So there's zero resistance when closing it. And I'm sure that aids in the uh, ridiculous lightning fast opening. So anyway, um, things I like about the Iona. Well, I like everything about it. Um, love the action, love the ergonomics, love how lightweight it is and how I can beat the snot out of it and not feel bad because it's relatively inexpensive. The one thing I didn't like about this knife um, after carrying it for weeks on end um, was the pocket clip, which I switched out. So posted that up last night and this morning. Um, this is a Rips Garage Tech um, titanium clip that is marketed as a Spyderco replacement. Um, and it fits the Iona because it's got that same, you know, wire clip slot pattern. So um, now this thing is perfect in hand because it was giving me a hot spot. Um, and now that is completely disappeared. So um, if you have an Iona and you don't like the pocket clip, this is an option. Uh, it's an expensive option because this clip runs about 70 bucks, <laughs> which is almost as much as the knife costs. Um, if you don't have an Iona yet, uh, there is some good news, and that's that the new run of Ionas um, that comes in green and blue, like this one, um, but also wolf gray and black now, is dropping soon. And it's dropping with the Ace Biblio clip, which is also a wire clip, but much lower profile. So that should be pretty awesome. But um, 
yeah, I like this knife. I like the blade shape as well. Um, let's focus here. Come on. Uh, the blade shape has flat. It has belly. Um, I mean, it's really a good EDC type of a blade shape for sure. It's got a good amount of stock. It's thick, but it's not too thick. Pretty much does everything I need it to do on a regular basis. Um, construction on this guy, again, if you go back about a week on my Instagram posts, it has like a partial liner there, which you can see. <sighs> got some pocket crud. Um, but it's got this heavy-duty partial liner there, which is pretty impressive uh, seeing it out of the knife. And then it's got a full liner on the lock side integrated backspacer um, I'm sure to save uh, cost and weight but I mean this thing the geometry on this I think it's the uh, a combination of the pivot geometry where the thumb stud is um, the design of you know the blade mechanics but when you push up on the thumb stud it flies open um, you could actually yeah spidey flick this guy too so, I mean, I like this knife. Um, it fits in my EDC rotation when I want to grab something quick and light and uh, that I'm not going to be afraid to, uh, to beat on or drop in the mud or whatever. I mean, whether it's Monday through Friday on the job or on the weekends getting down and dirty, the Iona works for me. It might work for you too. So, um, yeah, show and tell the East Iona with uh, my new Rips Garage Tech titanium clip. Going to be with me in the rotation a lot more frequently now that it's more comfortable in the hand, for sure. Um, what else? Yeah, I don't know, guys. That's about it. And if uh, you're watching this cross-posted on my YouTube channel, yes, I know it's in uh, vertical mode because it's for Instagram first, IGTV and all that. So I've had this knife since uh, it dropped several months back. Not sure, I don't remember when it was. November maybe? October? But yeah, Ace Iona from Giant Mouse Knives. Under 100 bucks, M390, lightweight. Coming with a new pocket clip. It's pretty much perfect for a sub $100 EDC knife. Can't beat it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Casual Cutter out. And I am hoping to do a full feature-length video on my Giant Mouse collection, which I recently completed the GM series of folders, one through five. That should be out uh, as soon as I have a chance to record it. Catch you guys in the next one. Have a good weekend, everybody.